It says gullible on the ceiling. What's up guys? It's Jack from Diamond Lake checking in with y'all on my bike. Look at me go. I'm doing the bike. I'm doing this thing like three times a day when I'm supposed to be doing it five times, but I think three is enough. But that's the point of this video. I'm going to be giving you all a little bit of an update on how I've been doing after the surgery. As of yesterday, it has been my two week mark after the surgery and quite a bit has happened since then. One of the more consistent things that has kept happening since my surgery is obviously what I'm doing right now is my little at home bike because it's at home and it's really easy to use and it helps me out. So that is what I spend a lot of my time doing. The sessions are about 15 minutes long and I'm supposed to do five of them a day, but I kind of hit three at this point. It really depends on how I'm feeling that day. I don't go too much for my soreness. The program on it actually changes up a bunch because my doctor sees how I'm doing, he tracks my progress, and then he sends in the new program that I do for that day or that week or however long he makes me do it for. And he just changes this based on how he sees my pain scale doing, how I'm actually staying in my targeted RPM and a bunch of all that stuff, him even seeing me in person, checking out how I'm doing. But this bike is really helpful and I'm glad that I have it here. Breakfast of Champions, Honeycomb, very underrated cereal, by the way. This is a really tasty cereal and the box is so massive, so you get a bunch of it. But that's aside the point. Right after my surgery, I did a whole lot of laying on the couch it was very hard for me to move, very hard for me to lift my legs. I was icing 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, nonstop for three days, and I did not do a lot of anything. But after my 72 hour period after the surgery hit, I was able to take off all the initial wrapping and bandages, and I was able to look at my scars for the first time and take my first shower, which started my hygiene circuit up back again. First PT. Hey guys, Jack from Diamond Wake here. Yeah. Meet Greg for the first time. Yeah, yeah I'm so PT. ecstatic. Can you tell by my face? Can you tell by my face? In that first PT session, I did not do a lot of actual exercises. It was more signing me up for everything and then gauging how far I had come since my surgery and giving me the exercises that I would be performing at home or in the next PT session. Very basic exercises like leg lifting, standing on one foot, mini squats, things like that that would start to get me active again but weren't too hard. Because yesterday was my two week mark after surgery, that meant that I get all my staples and stitches removed. So I went to the doctor's office, I met with one of my doctor's assistants, they removed all my staples and all my stitches, they thought that everything looked amazing, it's scabbing over very nicely, and that means that in about a week or two I should be able to submerge my leg, which will mean I can get back in the pool, I can take a bath. Very good things. I just finished my bowl of honeycomb. It was delicious. You definitely need to try it if you haven't. But in about four weeks or so, I have to meet with the doctor again for my six week evaluation to see how the scar is healing, how I'm healing, how the PT is going, how I'm moving, all of that. I'm ahead of schedule right now. I'm moving very well for how far into this I am. And I'm hoping to stay ahead of schedule and heal as fast as I can. And I'm doing that well right now. I hope to keep doing it well. But I guess I'll give you guys an update then. That's going to be the end of this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave it a like, comment down below with some video ideas you want to see us do in the future. And make sure to subscribe. Even though I got a knee that's undergoing some healing right now, we're definitely going to be pushing out some great content. We're definitely going to be pushing out some great content for you guys this summer. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys stay healthy out there and keep having great summers. Peace. Subscribe. 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 I turned myself into a choir. You better subscribe.